My social media feeds are loaded with myths about avocados. If it ain't a TikTok with some old wives tale about how to make one ripen faster, it's a myth about how to keep your guacamole from turning brown. One big myth that is currently circulating is that if you plant this seed from a store-bought avocado, you will not be able to grow a tree that gives avocados. The truth is, if you plant the seed from a store-bought avocado, you will get a tree, and that tree eventually will produce fruit. The confusion comes in because that tree will not produce avocados that are identical to the one the seed came from. That's because avocados are heterozygous. This is a Miguel variety avocado. If you plant this seed, the resulting fruit will not be Miguel variety avocados. The seed contains the DNA from the mother tree, which in this case is a Miguel tree, but also DNA from the father tree that pollinated it. Not only does the seed's DNA contain information from the mother and the father, it contains information from all the previous generations. So people read some literature, or they watch a video from a guy like me, and they hear us say, hey, if you plant this avocado seed, the resulting tree will not give the same avocado, and they kind of misunderstand that to think that you can't plant avocado seeds and get avocados further down the line. Then of course you get the wackos who think everything we grow is poisoned with chemicals. Those people are nuts. They're afraid of drinking water. They've started wearing masks. People are afraid of the air. Look outside, there's people running around with masks on. They are afraid to breathe the air. So when those people see a video, and I'm talking about that a seed from this Monroe avocado will not grow a Monroe avocado tree, they turn the video off and they finish the story with their head. Oh yeah, that's because they messed with the genes. Oh yeah, that's because they put them through a machine and they irradiate the seed and sterilize it. No, it's not. That's the natural biology of avocados, and it happens to be the natural biology of most of the fruit we eat. It happens to be the natural biology of most of the animals on this planet. We're heterozygous. We carry the genes of all our past generations, and when we create new offspring, that offspring is a random mutation of that combination of genes. Somewhere along the line, Human beings discovered that not only are avocados delicious, but they're very nutritious. And you could help sustain a population by eating avocados. And the evolutionary trait that allowed avocados to exist to this day is utility to man. Very much like domesticated dogs, right? Domesticated dogs aren't going to survive on their own out in the wild. So if natural selection is so, is so rigid, is so rough, if it's so law of the jungle, if only the strong survive, why do we still have these little delicate puppies? It's because they make us happy. So the more delicate and cute you are, the more likely you are to be bred because human beings want that. It's the same with avocados. When we find one that tastes good, we want to continue perpetuating that avocado. But a long, long time ago, we discovered that if you plant an avocado seed, you don't get the same avocado. You might get a tree that only gives you one or two fruit per year. You might get a tree that takes 20 years before it gives you its first fruit. You might get a tree that gives you bitter tasting fruit or dull tasting fruit or a tree that's susceptible to disease. And lucky for us, people discovered that you could clone the trees you like. If I decide I really, really like the avocados that are growing on this tree, and this tree happens to be a Monroe variety, I can just come out here and take a cutting of this tree, and then we have techniques where we can grow this whole cutting into its own mature tree. It'll grow big just like this one and give me hundreds of pounds of avocados every year. Which again is what I think leads to the myth that you cannot grow an avocado from seed because farmers don't grow our avocado trees from seed. We grow them from cuttings. We clone them. But as an experiment, nine years ago, I planted two trees from seed. That one right there that's got the ladder underneath it, and this one right here next to it. And this year was the first year that I got fruit from one of them, from that tree right there. It took nine years for that tree to flower, and it gave me exactly one avocado. This one here, it's been nine years, it's going into season 10, it hasn't even flowered yet. Now, if I took a cutting from one of my other trees, 
cloned it, stuck it there and there, I'd already have been getting commercial level output of avocados for the last three years. I'd be getting fruit in year four. By year six, we're producing at commercial output. By year nine, these things are cranking for me. But since I have a lot of space, I had the time, I was curious, I wanted to see if I could grow an avocado from seed and what would happen. And so far what's happened is I've waited nine seasons and I got one piece of fruit. Come on, let's go take a look at that fruit. This is my one little fruit that's taken me nine years to grow. I don't even know when to pick it. If the tree gave me like 40 or 50 fruit, I would have started in July, pick one, see if that was the month. If not, I would have waited till August, would have waited till September. We're kind of at the end of September, coming up on the beginning of October here. I'm gonna take a risk, pick this guy now, try and ripen it on my counter and see how it tastes. Odds are it's gonna taste bland. It might taste bitter. And there's a small, small chance that it'll taste good. This boom goes up about 15, 16 feet. And yeah, I'm right about even with the top of the tree. So this guy grew about 15 feet in height over the last nine years. Now I did some pruning, so it's not accurate to say I just let the thing grow free. And then here's the other one that I planted nine years ago. As you can see, it's not as tall. That one has chosen to grow out and bushy, whereas this one has chosen to grow more like a telephone pole, straight up. Again, two seed-grown avocados, two very different sets of characteristics. Looking at this one already, the fact that the tree only gave one piece of fruit, the fact that it's a little runt like this, and I've seen these a thousand times, I'm almost certain it's gonna have a big giant seed inside and almost no meat. I can tell you this probably isn't gonna be a keeper. I'll probably stump that tree at about waist height and clone another variety onto it. Now, when people hear me say things like that, that this isn't a keeper, that I'm gonna stump it, that I'm gonna clone something else onto that tree, they often mistake what I'm saying as discouraging you from going out and growing your own seedling. By now, people are already down in the comments telling me how it has nothing to do with genetics. They come from an island somewhere in the Caribbean where there's magic soil and they've got this magic green thumb and they plant all their avocados from seed and they all taste delicious. Somehow, the magic island they live on defies biology. People get really mad when I talk about this topic. I'm not discouraging you from growing avocados. I'm just giving you the facts. And the facts are always friendly. If you want to go out in your backyard and plant a bunch of avocado seeds and wait an average of 10 years, you might get fruit off of one in five. But for every one that gives you fruit at year five, there's one that's going to give you fruit at year 15. If you want to wait an average of 10 years, roll the dice that you might get a decent tasting avocado or not. That's fine with me. I, I have no problem with that. I encourage that. It could be fun. I did it myself with these two fruit. I can't wait to taste this and see what it tastes like. I can't wait till next year to see if the other tree flowers and what kind of fruit it gives me. If on the other hand, you're trying to make a living from growing fruit, or maybe you're retired and you want to put some fruit trees in your yard, you want to grow some avocados, maybe you're 65, 67, 68 years old, you don't want to wait till you're 77 to get your first fruit off the tree. In that case, you might want to buy a cloned tree. The important thing is that you have the facts. And now you have the facts. You know that an avocado seed is the baby of the avocado tree. And just like human babies, avocados are heterozygous, which means that every single seed contains the DNA of its mother tree and its father tree and all the ancestors who've gone before it, which means that every seed produces a unique tree. You know that if you plant this seed, on average, it will take 10 years before your tree gives fruit. And you know that that fruit will not be identical to the piece of fruit that the seed came from. And the most important thing you learned today is that you can grow avocados from seed. The people online saying that you can't are either misinformed or the ones who are saying you can't because it's some kind of conspiracy where us farmers are sterilizing are just talking out their ass. So if you think you would like to plant a seed 
and wait the average of 10 years and see what you get. Go out and get yourself an avocado, eat it, and plant the seed. Better yet, get yourself a bunch of avocados, plant the seeds, and see what you get. And better yet, get yourself a box of avocados from me at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. We sell our t-shirts at guacfarm.com. We sell our avocados in mango season. We have mangoes. We have sapodilla, mame, monstera deliciosa, all kinds of delicious tropical fruit depending on what's in season. Right now it's about 12.45 p.m. on a Sunday, which means I got 15 minutes to clean up and get back in the house so my ass can be on the couch watching the Eagles destroy the New Orleans Saints in 15 minutes. While I'm inside watching the game, you go to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video. Go birds.